Hey guys, what's up? It's Shane here once again with a new video for our class channel. And today we'll be inheriting a new attack strategy for farming. Alright. So we have. Uh, we're at 1455 trophies. And it looks like it's a perfect time to use the bag strategy, which is pretty much one third gobs, one third, one third archers, one third barbarians. And we just pretty much take the loot from every base. So. Now that we know that, let's get into our first raid. And this is a 600k resource raid that I probably wouldn't be able to do with all archers. Maybe I would, I don't really know. But now that I have this bag strategy, I can actually get into the base of my goblins. And now that I have those level 5 goblins, it is just so much fun farming right now. Most people say farming is boring, but when you're using like fun strategies where like you're using goblins and they're just running through the base, like in uh godson's videos when they're like mine 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 so like yeah these goblins are just gonna wreck the base so looking around the base where to attack from i guess i should breach this wall first so i can send in all my um, goblins this is actually not too tactical of an attack strategy all i have to do is stay away from the mortars and use a whole bunch of um what do they call uh barbarians as a as a meat shield and then you send your goblins to take all the loot from collectors or storages like i did in this one all right so those goblins are taking out that storage or that collector on the right along with those archers are helping out the little mohawks on them i'm pretty sure helps them out a lot but i don't know maybe not this is such a fun okay so i already took around 200k of each resource there's still that full elixir and gold collector Along with the Archer Queen, so I'm going to have to take out the Archer Queen before I go for the rest of the loot. So I got all the loot on the left side. I'm going to drop a couple of troops to take out that Archer Queen, and then I'm going to go for the loot on the inside. Alright, so let's drop some Archers. They take out the they, they take out the Archer Queen, and uh, we get uh, pretty much take out the loot. So we still have a couple of goblins left. Our clan castle... Kind of want to get this uh, extra percentage points, save my 50%, and we get sending those goblins soon. So I have 14 goblins left. I don't know if I should use them now. Nah, you know, I'll just send them all in. Alright, so that mortar won't be able to take them out, but that wizard tower is doing splash damage to them, and we got all the loot. So I was going to wait for that, I was going to wait for that dark elixir storage to go down, but then I realized there's no more loot left on the base. And we could pretty much just uh, surrender from there. I'll swap my troops around for a little. And then I'll surrender. Yeah. Border went down. I guess I could surrender right now. And the battle gets 600k resources. A little bit of dark elixir. And yep. Let's move on to our next raid. Wait. Yeah, how many troops do we use? I think we used them all, yeah. But this is actually a tech strategy for not using... Not using going full out, full out on a base to get a lot of resources, but being able to attack multiple times in an hour. So what I like to go do is go for anything above 150k gold, because like I'm farming gold right now, so I can max out my traps, upgrade the rest of my walls. I think I'm just gonna get my core to level seven, and or level eight, I mean, and then everything else level seven. So I use those three lightning spells to take out the mortars, so they won't be a problem for my archers and barbarians and goblins. And I guess I could use the barbarian king on this raid. This is actually a uh, replay, and I love how the new replays have that little thing in the bottom left where they shows what troops you still have left. It's like, it makes it better in Clan Wars, so you know if they are going to win, if they have a possibility of winning, or if they're totally going to fail. Alright, so in this raid, uh, I actually, I actually, I actually went pretty well in the beginning, because those barbarians actually uh, went right through the center of the base. And breached in for me, and it wasn't as hard, but that wizard tower, unfortunately, ruined it. So I'm, I was actually looking to take out that, that, uh, what do they call it, the air defense, so I could, um, drop my loons. And they could take out most of the defenses, so I could drop the rest of my troops. So I accidentally just started spamming out those archers on the top, following up from those balloons, so, like, I could get all the loot and stuff. But then I started spamming the goblins in, and those goblins went right for the, right for the gold, right for the gold. That barbarian king's banging his head against the wall, but he finally made it through with the help of those like thirty goblins with the red mohawk. 
All right, so we're at 50%. I don't think we're gonna need to go for the town hall, but I do want to get all that loot, which I will. I go easy. The strategy is just so fun because the goblins are running at like 32, 32 speed, whatever, whatever it's measured in, and like you're just wrecking bases. So the barbarian king just went down, and I don't think I'm gonna want to go for the rest of the base. I probably should have taken a couple more of those gold mines just so I can say I got 200k in that raid. But it was whatever, and I just surrendered right here and there. So that would give us another 200k gold to help us out. And these raids are just so easy to find up here, or down here, actually, I should say. Because, like, all you need to do is use a whole bunch of goblins. You can find collector bases or even just full storages. So in this next raid... This guy had 500k, but it was inside of his storages. And I don't really need elixir right now, so I'm just going to go for the gold. So, two lightning spells took out the those two splash defenses on the bottom. And uh, I'll just start sniping off these buildings. I knew there was going to be something down there since there's a mortar right next to it, and this guy does not. I guess he doesn't want to lose trophies. I don't know why he has a farming base that looks like this if he's not farming. Like, he has... All of his gold and elixir on the outside, except for those two, except for those two storages on the center. But most of his loot looks pretty easy to get to, so I'm just gonna spam these barbarians on the top, like a bark strategy, and like just take all that gold on the top without even having a problem. But yeah, so those guys are on the top. Let's use some of these barbarians on the left side to get some of that gold. Probably standing our barbarian king sooner or later. I'm gonna drop my clan castle, which is full of archers. To take most of that loot and help out. There was a couple minions in there actually. So that clan castle. I probably should have used my lightning spell earlier. But it was so stupid. I knew I, knew I was going to miss. I should probably should use it right there and then. But before they got before that wizard got to my archers on the bottom. But I used something stupid and just wasted it right now. And there's only one wizard left. I think that was level 4. It probably could have died from like a couple archers and a barbarian. But it's okay. So I'm going to get that loot right there, and then I'll move down to the bottom and get the rest of that gold. So I'm at 35%. I, I try to save my trophies up here since I lose a whole bunch on defense. And there goes my Barb King, level 8. Not too strong. Like, I wish that update where they nerfed the, the, the Barbarian King and the Archer Queen never came out. Because it pretty much just ruined all my attack strategies. Like, it ruined my Hog Rider attack strategy, which was pretty much the most OP thing at the time. And... With the giant bombs now, like, I can't even use them without being scared I'm going to fail. Like, especially since I, I wasted so much Dark Elixir getting them to level 4. Alright, so I'm going to get that gold on the bottom and then I can leave. The Barbarian King probably won't be able to take out that, that town hall. But it's all okay. We could still get all the loot and move on. We're on. So we're filling up on gold pretty fast right now. After this raid, I'll probably upgrade a couple of walls. Get... Probably, I, I want to upgrade my town hall soon, but I actually don't, I, I don't know what I should do. Leave a comment on what you guys think I should do. Should I upgrade all my walls to level 8, or should I just upgrade the core, or should I just go to town hall 9 right now, or what? Because, like, town hall 8 is kind of getting kind of, like, old. I've pretty much maxed out all my defenses, even my Teslas, and I don't really need to do anything else. So, if you guys have any suggestions, leave it in the comments. And now that we're back at the base, I guess, request some troops. I'll request some archers. See how nice my clan is. And there's a gem box on the right I should probably get to. And gem that out. So, uh, I'm going to move that giant bomb to the inside. Now that it's finished, I'm going to move the one to the other side so I can get it. And I'm going to clear out that gem box. And we're waiting for that to clear out. Um, Like I was saying, so if you're looking at my base right now, I have pretty much all my walls level 7, except for a few, which I'll probably upgrade right now. And my town hall is still level 8. Most of my traps are done. I have max defenses, even my Teslas. Right, tell me if you guys think I should go to town hall 9 right now, just to upgrade the core, or should I upgrade the entire thing to level 8 walls? So, now I got those 25 gems, I can start upgrading these walls with the elixir. And then I can upgrade the rest of the gold. So, there goes another one. Alright, so I'll start upgrading one gold. Gold, 200,000 gold. I, I, I should have, I 
I probably should not use that last 260,000 elixir just because I'll probably run out when I'm trying to train troops. But, uh, I guess I'll have to use the rest of this gold since, I mean, I want to get the rest of them done and everything. So, anything left? Yep, so we just got every single wall upgraded, and we have just enough to upgrade that giant bomb, and that'll pretty much do it for this episode today. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and Shane out. Oh, 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 oh,